Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Dark Side of Crestone, Colorado, the Baca Grande Property Owners Association. This is their reported budget for 2021, of which Steve Dawson back and uh, Connie Estrada had the main influence, along with Ed Sbarbaro. Uh, let's see, the operating budget was 1,000, 1 million, sorry, $574,000. And what they spent on legal, this goes up to collection expense, 642 here. They hit it under collection expense. Let's see. Let's scroll down. 642. 7, 8, 900,000 on legal and professional. Another 300,000 on, uh, or 259,000 on liability insurance, which keeps going up because of some of their nefarious lawsuits, fraudulent harassing lawsuits. And you'll see how the budget cost and the overages are going up, up, up here. So, um, and the income they receive is $1,963,000, of which they spend $1,300,000 on legal cost. And then the income they get from the legal expenses, the they pay a law firm called Moeller Graff in Colorado Springs to collect for them, which charged them $642,000. And then the income they get from that, let's see. Late fee collection income 181,000. So, for the return on their money, they're getting $181,000. So, let's see. I hope Molar Graph is at least buying some of the members flowers or steak dinner because they are definitely screwing them. I can tell you that Molar Graph was so worried that I might have a class action lawsuit against them for fraudulent billing that they had a shill call me and ask me for details about the lawsuit. Uh, a shill is someone who pretends to be somebody else to engage you in whatever conversation they need to, to, you know, achieve their ends. Um, so uh, this person was just asking me a lot of information if I had enough people for the class action lawsuit. I had asked the person to stay in touch and give me information uh, as it came along, but they absolutely ghosted me after that. So it finally occurred to me that it was somebody from their law firm. They're absolutely worried that someone will investigate. Uh, you see, when lawyers, lawyers charge you, uh, they have to enter it into the Cosmolex, which is uh, a billing uh, archive to show that the uh, that the hours are actually legitimate. They're definitely padding the bills against the Baca Grande Property Owners Association. I think the association itself uh, would have a valid lawsuit against them, uh, and it would all come out in discovery. They pretty much acknowledged that they had not 
simultaneously entered these charges into the Cosmolex. So that's definitely somebody, uh, something that somebody that comes into the association, uh, an independent audit needs to be done at the association. And um, I think you definitely have a, uh, a lawsuit against Bolograph for these uh, padded uh, bills and pretty much taking POA, uh, Baca Grande POA for millions of dollars over the years. So uh, please think about that. And uh, even if the members of the uh, uh, board don't want to go forward, just the members of the association, the people who pay dues, could jump on this uh, class action lawsuit. We only need 12. So I'll leave my number in the description if uh, you guys want to be a part of this uh, lawsuit against the law firm Muller Graf. Uh, it would take discovery of all the billing that they've done, but I'm pretty sure it will show a lot of fraudulent billing and billing that was not contemporaneously entered into the Cosmolex. So just to review, from our dues, they, they get $1,500,000, of which they spend, let's see, Six hundred forty-two thousand plus two hundred seventy-two, so that's nine hundred thousand. Then you have the liability insurance of another two hundred fifty-nine thousand, so that's over a million dollars, a million one hundred thousand dollars just to cover legal expenses and liability expenses because they've engaged in so many like fraudulent vindictive lawsuits with this money that the liability insurance keeps going up so with this money they could improve the community actually uh, make legitimate claims against these trashy, run-down, unfinished homes and um, leave the clean, paying, quiet members of the community alone. Uh, hire a competent uh, manager for the association uh, the last manager quit. He did propose negotiating with homeowners instead of pursuing lawsuits and legal actions to curb these expenses, but Steve Dawsonback did, uh, would not comply with his recommendations at Sabarboro and, uh, the Seguda person has been there for years, so they must know this is going on. Uh, people complicit in this are the members Kathleen Kennedy, Joe Buckley, uh, Judy Rose, and uh, Gloria Wolf. I'll show them here in the, just a minute. So these people need to let go of the notion that they are, uh, their approaches to their fellow neighbors are in any way productive. They are not. Uh, these are the incomes that, that they achieve. And again, uh, $1,900,000 of which one million one hundred thousand dollars is spent on uh, legal fees and insurance premiums that are a result of uh, certain members just bullying other certain members in the community.